Hey, right. Good morning, everybody. Uh, it is morning today. Um, I am. Um, I thought I'd come back and just open up a little bit, actually, um, to kind of tell you where I've been. Obviously, those of you who have subscribed to the channel, and if you're not subscribed, then please do. Um, if you subscribe to the channel, you'll know that I've been my videos have been very quiet for quite a long time. Um, I used to do a lot of news videos and looking at uh, all matters to do with the European Union. Um, so. I wanted to be a little bit open, uh, well not a little bit open, I want to be really open with this, hence the reason why I'm not studioising it and this and the other, I'm just basically speaking and making this a personal video log. Um, do you know, after the last um, general elections in Britain, um, UKIP did really well, um, I actually did um, really well standing as a UKIP candidate here in my local ward, um, I missed getting a position in office by only a few votes as the second candidate. Um, and that had worked out really well, but I got, I mean, I'd been in two, two difficult, challenging fights, really. I mean, I'd been involved with trying to uh, free Britain and make people aware of the, uh, the implications, what we're obligated to, what we had been obligated to, or we are obligated to under the various treaties from Europe. I'd been doing that for seven or eight years, and, uh, and after a while, you just get worn down. Now, I'd also had some big health challenges as well, so a big health battle that I had to work with as well at the same time. And uh, and frankly, I just kind of ran out of steam and I got so disenfranchised with the, um, well, I suppose what we would call the neoliberals. I'm not a big fan of label, uh, labels for things at all. Um, and I'll visit that one with some humour in the future. Um, but obviously, you know, people obviously speaking not necessarily from a position of factual strength now in recent days it's, it's exploded on facebook it's gone absolutely bonkers on facebook and bonkers on social media and with people ranting frankly um that's what they've been ranting about um but for me for a long time i just had really become convinced that the majority weren't listening that people weren't taking any notice of this and i actually felt convinced that people would vote to remain in Europe and that, uh, you know, that effectively we would be assimilated into the into this EU super state, which um, and in the end, I just got so tired, I suppose, and um, and lost my optimism that I didn't really want to make any more videos and didn't want to really talk about it anymore. And so I disengaged from politics and uh, and that kind of thing and just walked away. And, uh, and the vote the other day, uh, the same there, you know, I was really expecting, a, you know, a Remain vote. Um, I just really felt that, you know, that people were, uh, you, you know, that's where we'd got to. And um, I was overjoyed. I was just, I was ecstatic, absolutely ecstatic and so pleased, um, you know, when the majority had spoken and it restored such faith back in me that, you know, that the voice of the majority that it will speak that you know that it is it is out there and it will engage on the issue and it made me realize that you know never uh, has it been important never uh, has it been demonstrated so well probably in my lifetime looking at, 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 at politics um, where the voice of the people have spoken out so loudly and said very clearly what they want and it made me realize that you know that that needs to be encouraged that that I need to celebrate that and I need to celebrate that with you guys to share that with you so that you can see that you know that when we do speak out when we when we speak from these points of facts and we provide this information and we do say no this is what we want to do we are strong independent nation and you know and that we are quite capable of going out into the world and making change happen for ourselves and and that's what I'm going to be talking about more on this uh, blog and, and all of these kinds of things and I want to bring um, you know that optimism and that uh, that outward looking view uh, so that we can start to think about just some of the things that we can do um, and uh, and the opportunities are massive and endless across a whole globe and uh, what we need to do now the majority those of us that spoke about leave those of us that voted leave what we need to do now is we need to continue continue with that voice we need to continue to engage with our politicians we need to take the politicians that are not doing the things that we want and vote them out of office 
and we need to take the people that are speaking strongly uh, and you know, and are gonna and are strong for Britain and strong for the British people and that are good and articulate and intelligent and can represent us and we need to vote them into office um, and through them the voice of the majority people like me and you and everybody else who voted leave our voices will be heard and we'll be able to make influence and bring about change anyway I hope you like this video um, as I say it is uh, very loose and unedited uh, and very open but uh, if you do, please subscribe to the channel. You can also get in touch with me on Google Plus. Links and all that are below. Um, so get in touch there. Have a great day. See you later.